In this video, I am going to demonstrate the CLI commands that can be used to modify and list the command line client preferences. Preferences or global settings are used to configure certain aspects of the RTC SEM CLI client. These preferences are stored under the command line client's configuration directory and they are applicable to all the CLI instances that run under the same configuration directory. By default, the configuration directory is created under the user home directory. In Windows, when local app data is set, then the default directory would be local app data slash jazz SAM. You can override this default path by either configuring the path in the SCM config directory environment variable or by specifying the config command line option. The path specified in the command line overrides the value configured in the environment variable, if any. I have set the configuration directory path in the environment variable. You can see the preference.properties file in the configuration directory. Let us take a look at the commands that are used to work with the preferences. You can list the preferences persisted in the preference.properties file by using the list preferences command. Here you can see the complete list of preferences that are currently used with the command line client. List preferences command supports a verbose mode where it lists the preferences along with their default values and a description text explaining the purpose of the preference. You can list the value of one particular preference by using the preference get command. Similar to the list preferences command, Preference get command also supports a verbose mode that displays more details. You can modify the value of a preference by using the preference set command. You can also modify the value of a preference by directly editing the preference.properties file. If you specify an invalid value for a preference, the system will fall back to the default value of the preference. You can download the latest version of RTC SEM CLI client from jazz.net. You can also post your queries in the forums at jazz.net. Thanks for watching this video.